Right, uh, today I was out in uh, the city and I stopped into one of the stores there that has uh, some good deals on Blu-rays every now and again and I was surprised and happy to see that the new 40th anniversary uh, edition of Enter the Dragon had arrived in store. I didn't know it was coming out here at all and uh, let alone this quickly after the American release and at a much better price than the American release. Made all uh, the more sweeter by the fact that I actually did have this in my Amazon basket at one stage and then decided uh, against it and I pulled it out and uh, had too many expenses that month and thought it was a too expensive uh, buy. On Amazon it's well into the, uh, the 20 US dollars and here as you can see I picked it up for 1898 New Zealand uh, which is very cheap. Um, so we're going to open this up. I just got back with this. Um, and then we're going to do a review. Um, I'm going to turn off this recording, have a have a uh, look at the uh, the product, and uh, talk about the visual uh, aspects and the special features some more. So let me just... Okay, so there we have it unwrapped. And let's see if it comes with all the goodies the American one came with. We have a little pouch here. It sits separately. Uh, the jewel case comes out of the uh, cardboard cover. We have a little pack here. With some cards. Hereby deputized an LA of the dragon. Um, some other cards with some uh, sketches, some information here. Photos. Okay, so that's what comes in the pouch. And inside, all we have is the disc. Nothing there. So, basically, it comes with pretty much, looks like it comes with pretty much everything except for the patch that came in the American set. And I don't know even know if the patch comes in the British set. I've, I've looked at the British set which was uh, cheaper than the American set and the British set uh, doesn't come out till later this month. Um, but I, I don't, it didn't have any mention of the patch coming with that either so that could be exclusive to America. Um, but if, you know, I don't really care about the patch to be quite honest. But it comes with this nice little box with those uh, cards in it comes with the identical cardboard sleeve. Of course Enter the Dragon being a Bruce Lee's uh, really only good film to be quite honest. Um, it was the, the last one that he completed before he died. He was working on another um, that did not get completed. Um, this one here comes with some special features uh, from the original Blu-ray and DVD release. Um, some missing from that and some added. Um, apparently a really good documentary is missing off the original uh, release. I had the original DVD release and I can't even really remember it. Uh, the special features off that too well. Um, but it comes with uh, No Way As Way, The Return to Hans Island, Wing Chun, the art uh, that introduced Kung Fu to Bruce Lee, commentary by Paul Heller, Blood and Steel, The Making of Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee in his own words, Linda Lee Caldwell, Interview Gallery, Location Hong Kong with Enter the Dragon, uh, backyard workout with Bruce and the curse of the dragon and more so I'm gonna go away pop this in have a look at the uh, the transfer that I've actually read about and see uh, who I agree with because uh, there was quite a difference in opinion uh, about uh, this blue ray release right back okay so um, just had a little look-see at all the uh, details on this bad boy and uh, I, yeah, I really like the transfer. Um, you know, the, the source material is is a little inherently soft anyway, but uh, there was still uh, there was still grain. Um, the colours were really popping a lot better than they ever have in the past. Um, some scenes look better than others, but uh, on the whole, I don't think you're going to see into the dragon look uh, any better than it does here. Now, the 5.1 um, from you know the 10-15 minutes I I watched. Uh, throughout the course of the proceedings, I 
didn't really get much of a feel for anything spectacular out of the 5.1 uh, surround. Um, but you know, it's, it certainly uh, wasn't noticeably bad either. So you know, it didn't it didn't wow me, but it it didn't disappoint me. I I just it just felt like it was the way it was supposed to be. So we got some good special features, uh, nice easy navigation from the menu, and uh, I think. Uh, if you really like the special features on the original release that are uh, not present in this, just hold on to it and pick this up, especially if you've only got the DVD of the, uh, the original release. Um, but yeah, this is a big improvement in the visual quality uh, from the, the, either the DVD or the original Blu-ray release of this uh, item. So go get it.